Hi everybody, Alan Ward here from bloggerbusinessplan.com and welcome to the weekly wrap for the 9th of June 2011. Hey look, today's just two things I want to talk about. One is a website or social media um, service called Triber.com and the other is just some thoughts on pricing um, following on from an article I read this week. Triber, first of all, I mentioned this a couple of weeks ago. Triber is a, look, it's a relatively new website um, for bloggers or people who use social media in a, in a real simple sense what happens is that you join a tribe of um, up to seven people you connect your twitter account and your rss feed to your account every time you put up a new blog post the other people in your tribe will automatically tweet about that post um, to all of their followers and every time they um, put up a new blog post, you will tweet about it to all of your followers. So it appeals to me mainly because for a while I've been looking at ways to, um, I guess, promote my blog and expand in a business sense, get bigger distribution, you know, find more ways of getting the word out about bloggerbusinessplan.com. And so with Triber, you can pick people. And so um, initially you join an existing tribe um, but you can also set up three tribes of your own. So I've joined up with some other people. Um, I think there's four other people, so there's five in our tribe. Um, but combined, we've got a Twitter reach of, I think, a little over 50,000 people. So every time one of us um, completes a blog post and it hits that RSS feed, it's going out potentially to 50,000 people. So that appeals to me. Um, so look, still early days yet uh, with regards to how I've been using it, but so far so good, it seems to work well. And importantly, I've met four really interesting people who are part of my tribe. Following them on Twitter, um, I've actually set up a list, um, a Twitter list just for my tribe of people. And so when I'm using Hootsuite, um, it's there in a separate column so I can have a really good look at what they're tweeting about. Um, and also I will choose to retweet some of the things they tweet about. So um, the retweeting on Triber is automatic. So you set it up, um, you can make it manual, but look, I've chosen set up automatic. So when something comes through their RSS feeds, it eventually comes out in my Twitter feed. Um, Triber does that automatically. Um, but said also through Hootsuite, uh, I'm looking at just their individual tweets. So not necessarily about their blog, but things they say, quotes, whatever. And if it's worthwhile retweeting, I'll retweet. So triber.com, it looks pretty cool. Have a look at it. Um, if you're a blogger and you know, you've got a reasonable following on Twitter and you blog around similar things that I do, namely um, helping people blog better, um, using the internet, that sort of stuff, um, let me know because as I said, I've got a couple other tribes there waiting for people to join. So if you think we're a good fit, just drop me a line through the contact form or the comments and we can work something out. Second thing I want to talk about is pricing. Um, I know I had a little rant last, I think last week about people saying, hey, this package is worth $7,000, but I'll sell it today for $40. Um, today I want to talk about a blog post that I read um, over at bloggingbookshelf.com from uh, Tristan Higby. And Tristan wrote a post, I think a couple of weeks ago, I'm a little late to it, um, where he just made a comment about eBooks and, and he sort of said, look, personally, um, he would find it hard to sell an eBook for a, you know, a high price. And I think he was saying $27 or $37 was around the mark of what he'd be comfortable selling a book for. And look, it generated a lot of discussion. A um, couple of comments I just want to make on it, and it's something I've been thinking about for quite a while. Firstly, I think it's really difficult or, or wrong to compare an e-book to a traditional printed book. Um, I think this is partly where we go wrong. They're, they're, they're different things. Um, and if you understand, um, Chris Anderson wrote a book called The Long Tail, which is a fantastic book. And um, basically, look, the, the concept and how it applies to books is that if you go to a, you know, a traditional big bookshop, there's, I mean, the big publishers, to publish a book, they want to make sure it's going to sell. You know, and even then, a lot of the books don't sell. So the authors are writing books generally to cater to a wide cross-section of people. Now, what The Long Tail talks about is get out there along the distribution curve, along the, along the tail, and really hone down into the niche. So 
Um, what's an example? I could go to a bookshop today and buy a book on blogging, um, but it would be a very general book. Um, but nonetheless, it would be a printed book and it might set me back $30, $40. By the same token, I could go online and I could find an ebook that maybe is a similar price, maybe has less pages in it, but is a lot more specific to what I want. I mean, I might want to learn about not just blogging, but um, you know, making money on the internet in a certain niche or creative ways to use social media to promote your blog, something like that. So what this is bringing me to is to say that when it comes to promoting your any product on the web, whether it's an ebook or not, think in terms of the value that you're creating for the end user. Um, and I mean, it's a, it's a simple example, you know, you say to someone, if you, if you had to spend a dollar, but in return, you're gonna make a dollar 50, how many times would you keep spending that dollar? Um, so by the same token, if I can create a product, um, you know, even if it costs you $100, if that $100 that you spend is gonna then lead to you making multiple hundreds of dollars in return, well, that's value. Um, why would I only sell that for $10 or $20? In fact, why would I only sell it for $100? If, if, if I could show you that by doing this and with this knowledge that I've got, if you do X, that Y will result and Y gives you a much bigger um, profit result, well, how much should I price X for? Um, now, it's the same in consulting work. It's the same in, in my financial planning business. You know, if I sit with a client and say, you know, if I could save you, I show you a way that I could save you $30,000 a year in tax every year. Um, would you be interested? And most people would say, yes, okay, if I charge you $10,000 for that, would you be interested? Well, do the mental maths on that, you know? Okay, it's gonna cost me 10, but I'm gonna be saving 30 in the first year. Well, it's well and truly paid for itself. So there's just some concepts there that, as I said, eBooks, I hate the name eBooks, but I'm struggling to work out a better name for them because um, I think we've really got to find a way to differentiate an eBook from a traditional book. Um, because they are two different things and I said it really comes back to the value that that you're creating for the end user So I hope that's been helpful for you um, on the blog this week I've written an article um, all about essentially setting up a bit of a not really a sales funnel But how to set up a giveaway of an ebook or, or to sell an ebook on your site So it just walks you through how do you get an ebook on your website in the first place? What pages do you need and so on? Um, coming up over the next week, I'll be doing a couple of follow-up articles on that. One looking at how to get a PayPal button on your website and to integrate PayPal on that function. The other is how to get the AWeber um, email subscription stuff happening as well. So if you were giving away an ebook, um, like I do in the Blogger Business Plan website, how do you set that up with AWeber so you're capturing their email address and then you're actually giving away a book? So have a look at the blog. Um, if you haven't already, if you're watching this on Facebook, hit the like button, leave a comment, please, because that helps me. Um, and I know someone's watching. If you're watching on the blog, same deal. If you can leave a comment below, let me know what you think. That would be fantastic. Um, again, Alan Ward from bloggerbusinessplan.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.